Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jonathan Greenert, introduced his professional reading program to the fleet while at the Ford Center for Education and Leadership in Washington, D.C. Hello, shipmates. I'm here at the Ford Center for Education and Leadership reading a book, good book, The Last Stand of the Tin Can Sailors. And you can see here quite a monument here, a sculpture of 6,000 books on President Lincoln. I've chosen this location to talk to you about the new reading list. Next month, when we celebrate the Navy's birthday, at the same, about the same time, we're going to be rolling out my new reading list. Now, we've worked with the Naval War College to put together a list that I think you're going to like. They're kind of set right along my sailing directions, and they're really designed to give you an insight to your history, your tradition. They teach you a little bit about management and about leadership. Now, look, shipmates, I'm not trying to make historians out of all of us, and I don't want you to get a history degree out of this. I want you to be interested in your Navy and see how your predecessors, sailors just like you, made your Navy great. They had a lot of the same challenges, a lot of the same anxieties, and they got the job done just like you're getting the job out there in the Navy. Now we're going to bring this to the NKO where you can download these, and they'll be available at your libraries on your ships, on your shore sites, in your units, and of course available at NKO where you can download them for ebooks. So look, take a hold of this thing, read about your Navy, learn about the heritage and tradition. Learn about those that came before you. I'll see you out there in the fleet.